Hi guys and welcome to yet another very really exciting video tutorial for Adobe Premiere Pro and in this tutorial we will be learning about clip speed duration window and what does this window do? Uh, in the last few tutorial I told you how to use the speed up and slow down uh, techniques in uh, Premiere Pro well this uh, window also does the same thing but it does on a more precise uh, level. The precision of the speed duration window is unparalleled by any other technique uh, in uh, time manipulation effects. So let's get started without any further ado. Okay, first of all, select the clip that you want to edit. Okay, and then press X on the uh, keyboard. Uh, you know, the, actually, yeah. Okay, now the keyboard uh, shortcut X. When you press it, it uh, uh, marks the in and out point on the timeline of the clip that you have selected, and it tells us how long this uh, you know uh, clip is. It's one minute uh, forty three seconds and 29, 21 milliseconds. So to change its speed, you can use the same old technique that we learned in the previous two tutorials. You know. One was the speed rate uh, stretch technique, shortcut for that was the R, and that was, other was fill to fit, uh, fill, fit to fill technique. But uh, today we're gonna use the speed duration window technique. To do that, right click on your clip and then come to this option which says speed slash duration. When you click on it, this window pops up. Now there are a few parameters actually. One is for speed and one is for uh, you know uh, duration. Now duration with this uh, parameter you can control that how much shorter or longer you want this clip to become. Uh, suppose you want this clip to become shorter. It's one minute forty three seconds. You want to be make it forty three only forty seconds. To make it forty seconds we have to write four thousand in here because. Uh, uh, the first uh, two you know numerical videos four and zero represents the seconds and the uh, second two ones the zero double zeros represent the milliseconds so you have to should not write 14 here you should write 4000 if you want to work with you know uh, seconds okay the other is the speed okay for example if you want to uh, reduce this uh, footage to 40 seconds but the speed is not uh, limited to it. You can change your speed, increase it, decrease it. In a given time frame, you can increase the speed to 500 and reduce it to 50. That is an extra option that is available. Now, since our speed changes automatically, that is because speed and duration videos are linked. If you unlink them like this, then they would not be affected by each other. Speed will maintain its, uh, you know, video and duration will maintain its own video. But most of the time, you want to keep them linked. These uh, few check for, uh, you know, or parameters, we will talk about them in a little while. First of all, let's see what's the effect of uh, this change. Okay, let's click OK. As you can see, our clip was reduced from 143 seconds to 40 seconds. And now, if I click again, uh, X on the keyboard, you can see its duration is precisely to the milliseconds, uh, 40 seconds only. And if we play it once, you can see the speed of it is quite fast and it has increased. The same thing could be done if you we increased its speed or duration from 143 seconds to 243 seconds then it would have become slowed down so this is one way to use the speed duration okay this clip over here was uh, easily to manage because or manipulate <coughs> because there was no adjacent any other you know clips that it has to push or get its room from but if you are working with a clip like this there might be a little bit complications in it you know because it has uh, clips around it and editing requires a little room for uh, yeah, you know clip to move around so let's uh, select it by hitting X on the keyboard and we're gonna go to speed duration window again and this clip is about <coughs> 1 minute 11 seconds and 10 milliseconds and we want to make it 30 seconds so we're gonna write uh, 3000 here 
Now, if I click OK, it reduced its uh, size to 30 seconds, you know, as you can see in here, but it has left this space. If you do not want this space to be remained here, of course, you can uh, always bring your footage or other clips, no matter how many they are, uh, like this uh, manually. But if uh, there are a lot of clips, then it becomes a tiresome task, and then there is a, link, a risk of you know getting your video and audio out of sync. So, a better way is to you know, right click and go to speed duration and click on this option which says ripple edit shifting clips. It when you select this option, then there are no space left. You know, it automatically manages the blank space, like so. You know, okay, I just selected the video. Okay, let's do it once again. Okay, like this. Now, when we click OK, okay, this. It has edited it and reduced its size to 30 seconds and there is no place left and everything has been moved closer to it automatically. Okay, this is the second part. Okay, the same thing, uh, doing this in timeline is okay, I mean good, but you can do it in the source monitor also. For example, let's make our in and out points in here. Okay, it's 29 seconds. Suppose you want to reduce this to say, uh, 10 seconds okay to do that in here we cannot right click here because there is no option of speed duration window here we have to clip click the uh, you know clip in the project pane here and then go to speed duration window and right here 1000 actually i'm writing the speed video you do not want to change that it changes automatically okay we're gonna write 1000 it's gonna reduce its speed to one Again, and I'm gonna also check this clip, uh, you know, option which says reverse speed. What does that do? It reverses your clip. It changes now. We are changing its duration, and the footage will be also run in the reverse mode. Okay, let's click it. First of all, let me go and shut this video down, and let's go back to the source monitor and play it. Okay, there it is. Okay, now. Let's play it. Okay, it has to do some calculation because it's gonna run the footage backward now. Without time. Okay, that you was not shut down. Okay, let me do that once again. Okay, now let's play it. It's calculating it without the view now. As you can see, it's going in reverse and the speed has been reduced from 30 seconds to 10 seconds. So, with the speed duration window, you can achieve uh, very precise speed up and slow down effects. And also you can turn your footage uh, or run it in a reverse mode. You can do the same thing, get the reverse mode in here. I go in here and do not uh, disturb any other clip. Just click on the reverse speed and then when you click on it, and play it, everything will be run in reverse. So that is another extra option that is played. The last thing that I want to talk about here is maintain audio pitch. When you change the speed uh, or duration of your video clip, the audio clip also gets reduced to maintain its speed uh, audio pitch so that the audio does not get distorted. We have to check this thing out. If you did not, then there is a chance that the audio would be ruined to some extent. So, with that being said, I think this tutorial has uh, gone on a little bit longer than I expected. I hope you guys learned something new and uh, using this speed duration window proved useful to you guys. With that said, uh, I am going to take my leave for now and hope to see you in the next tutorial. Till then, goodbye and thanks for watching.